All right, hello online world. This is Off the Record with Mix Bustos and today we have a very special guest. Grabe, uh, ibang klase ang uh, fandom ni 30 Ravena ngayon sa Japan and he is now joining us here on Off the Record. 30, thank you so much for joining us here on Off the Record. Kamusta? I just want to ask you first, how are you feeling? How is it like uh, living alone in Japan? Yeah, hi Mix, thanks for having me. Uh, it's been good so far. I mean, life in Japan is definitely new. First time to live alone and first time to, first year to play um, professional basketball. And uh, it's been really good uh, with the help of my, my family, my friends, and of course the sanity of Phoenix and really helping me with whatever that I need to adjust, whether it's on the court or off. They've been really great and very welcoming and warm. So uh, adjusting has been pretty easy for me, I would say. Uh, 30, kanina kinakwento mo sa akin na it's your first time living alone. It's like your first time adjusting to everything. So far, ano yung mga favorite mong chores sa bahay? Whether luto ba yan, laba ba yan, grocery ba yan? Uh, well, I think for me, it's maglinis. Uh, okay. Even in my... Um, my room sa Pinas sobra my, uh, very particular ako with uh, cleanliness whether it's like I want everything to be organ uh, organized uh, I want everything clean so I guess that's my favorite um, thing to do in my pastime na chore so yeah I guess it's maglinis mm-hmm. Uh, ngayon, uh, 30, um, okay, so for the past couple of months and then actually the, the moment that you announced that you are going to play for the San and Neo Phoenix, most people didn't know what it was. I think San in, ano ba yung Billy, right? Pero siguro, is it okay if you tell uh, our viewers kung ano yun? What was the decision like between you and your family and why play in Japan? Well, definitely, Mix, I was given the I was given an opportunity that's not really given to a lot of people. So I was just thinking, uh, if I don't take this, will I regret this down the road? Or you know, when will this ever happen to me? And as a player, I always want to be challenged, whether it's on the court with a good player or you know, an opportunity that's, uh, that you don't know uh, if it would work out for you or not. So really just pushing myself out of my comfort zone uh, was one of the reasons why I wanted to take on the challenge of playing as an import in Japan Um, because you're not just going to be challenged with the physical aspect or the basketball aspect, but you're also going to be challenged mentally, like being alone, living alone, having to do everything um, from practicing and going home really tired but there's still no food on your plate and you still have to um, cook instead of you know you yeah. just have to eat and not even think about cleaning up and you know you can but here you need to do everything you need to do you need to do you need to do you so yeah definitely a challenge um, so that made me more excited to try it. Baka may malapit na ano dyan, 30 Family Mart. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, or 7-Eleven. <laughs> family Mart, siguro. Kahit saan kanto ka makapunta, may Family Mart and their Family Marts. Really, really good. Um, yeah. Ngayon na lang nakita ang convenience store na, you know, kompleto. May mga salad. Uh, nakalagay pa ko ilang grams ng protein or ko ilang calories. So, uh, very convenient. Very convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> Pero yeah, at least that that uh, for the ones who traveled to Japan, you would know what 30 is talking about. Especially mga parang triangle na parang yeah. sushi na with seaweed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. that's always good. Yeah. So how is it like 30 adjusting to the competition? Marami ang napabilib at napawow. Wow, 13 points. Uh, first game and then just Making an impact, can you tell us what was going through your mind? How was it like competing? Uh, well, for me, I guess uh, it's, it's still a matter of adjusting for me. 
I don't think I've played a game now where I really am content of how I played because uh, I feel like I still had to adjust. I, I still had to find my niche the team. And yeah, I mean, to really learn the system and to learn exactly how coach wants me to play is something that, you know, I always um, try to do. So I talk to coach about it. I'll be like, coach, in my own. Uh, what else do I need to do? Um, where do you want me to be at certain times? Or when do you want me attacking the ball? Or when do you want me shooting the ball? So those things. And I feel like um, I still have to get a lot of uh, details right. And once I get them, I think that's when I really am going to be able to show my game. But I'm still happy with how I played. Could have got, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Nah, you know, I could have <laughs> played, you know, and not really have done much. So I'm very happy about it, regardless. Of... How's the communication like, thirty amongst your teammates? Is there uh, a language barrier? Do all of them know how to speak in English? Yeah. Well, sadly, there there still is, although it's not as bad as how as I thought. Because some of the players out here know how to speak English, and it's just a matter of you know trying to find the right words to communicate to my teammates with. Because when you're on the court, it's you just have to yell out the basic stuff, and most most of the time, na manayten the handle so um, we have that. Uh, but sometimes, you know, other than the basic words, some of them still. Have a little struggle of you know, communicating in English, so uh, we have to have our translator there or the teammates who are fluent in English. We have like one teammate who's fluent in English, so um, that's good, and he helps us with like translating. Or probably two teammates, yeah. So what what about learning the language Nihongo? Did that cross your mind? It's hard. I try. I'm constantly trying, but. I feel like I need professional help when it yeah. comes to the Hongo. Shooter. Yeah, I really need yeah. a shooter because you know how their grammar is. Like their subject, the subject, you know, uh, verb is different. Yeah. So it's like opposite the English uh, in a sense. So it's pretty hard to learn and to get the hang of it. But I'm actually considering and getting a tutor maybe uh 34 the fans uh, of course they know that you wore number zero uh, at mm -hmm. least for the latter years of your career with ateneo now you're wearing number one uh is there a reason because i couldn't get number zero <laughs> but uh the first number i thought of was one because i wanted to represent my dad and you know also being the first uh, yeah Philippe so that's why I picked number one. Um, so that number means a lot to me. Uh, growing up, I was watching my dad play basketball, and he was using number one during the time. And just wanted to kind of, you know, reference, to have that little reference in my dad as well. So that's why I picked number one. Now, third, uh, I want to ask this. Of course, uh, it's nearing the Christmas, Christmas, Christmas season, and uh, you're going to spend lots, of, lots of months there. Uh, I'm sure you're missing things in the Philippines. And how are you taking on the challenge now of not spending Christmas at home? Will you spend Christmas, Christmas at home? Sorry, is there a uh, chance for you to go home? No, no, no. We have a game on the 26th. Okay. So definitely can come home, and granted the. Uh, travel ban, I don't think I'd be <laughs> celebrating with my family as well. So I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be alone in Christmas day, but yeah, I mean, it's part of the challenge. It's part of the, re it's one of the reasons why I signed up uh, was I really wanted to test how strong I am mentally. And so far it's been, it's been great. I never, uh, till I got to Japan, I never actually knew how mentally strong I was. Um, I, I always had a lot of anxiety and doubt before coming to Japan, especially the last few days in Manila before I 
I was actually going to leave. It felt like it was a real better than Nandito na ako. I, I had like, I, in Manila, I would think Nandito ka kayanin even for one month. And when I got to Japan, I mean, a month flew by like that, like that fast. So um, I didn't have any problem at all. And I haven't been homesick since I got here. So I guess it's going good. Do you miss the Filipino cooking? Filipino food? You know, my mga spots na mandita na nag offer na uh, okay. Filipino food. So, uh, okay naman siya. When okay I, when naman I, siya. So, I, I okay. crave. I yeah. crave. Uh, so, I just get my tinatawagan lang ako. <laughs> nice, nice. So, at least my contacts na kagad. So, you don't miss <laughs> Philippines that much. Now, uh, 30, tanongin ko lang sa'yo about something about Gilas. Of course, they swept their window. And uh, I want to ask about your Ateneo teammates. Uh, Matt, Mike, Will Navarro, Isaac Bo, how big of how big of pieces are they to this team? Well, yun nga, just like what I said earlier in our interview before this, um, they were given a short amount of time to, to prepare and to learn a system where a lot of them aren't used to. And that's when the Ateneo guys, that's where the Ateneo guys come in. Uh, I think it was uh, really important to have those guys because they really know the system and system and they get to show um, the players who are new to the system how it's supposed to be uh, ran. And um, yeah, it's, it's better to actually see an example um, when, when they're practicing because I've seen their practices. I talked to Mike and they said coach would sometimes bring all the Ateneo guys in one team and that they play the others. So just having just having um, someone to emulate or a team to emulate is definitely helping them speed up the process of learning uh, even more um, and learning the system and learning how to play with one another even more. So definitely carry a lot of value and Matt's presence on the court whenever he's there team just runs like a well well oiled machine so yeah uh, definitely see matt has a lot of presence when it comes to being on the court and mike has a presence all around whether it's off the court it's kind of like the glue guy the guy that is like the heart and soul of a team because he's always been the heart and soul of our team and back in ateneo so very valuable guys and along with will and dwight and the rest of the team um, just makes it a whole lot better. Now, uh, jumping off from that point, you the, uh, you mentioned that Mike is a glue guy because I just want to address this because there were a lot of uh, I drew a lot of flack from fans. The sure. first window nag announce na si Mike nito ang nakapasok. and then of course we we've had different opinions from fans. But then yun nga siguro, I want to focus or maybe ask about the strength of Mike. Right, uh, you mentioned that he's a blue guy, but what else does he bring to a team? He brings a lot. Um, basically, when you're just his presence, when you're on the bench with him, and his energy is contagious, like your positive energy. Yeah? Um, if you're looking for a guy that you know when things are going wrong, like you always need to look at, he's always going to be the guy that would really stick out and just be positive and talk to you. Um, even on the court, he wouldn't be. He might not do much on the offensive end, but he would do whatever it takes, even if it's on the defensive end, whether it's rebounding or passing or um, whatever it is. Like that's Mike is for Mike for me is very uh, one of the yeah one of the key pieces in a team, like very valuable, like very valuable guy. Na if you have Mike on your team, your team just certainly gets a boost of upside. Na your team is definitely going to play more selfless. Um, he's the type of guy who would call you out if you're playing selfish or would um, make sure that everyone's doing their part and everyone's playing as a team. So having Mike, uh, having Mike there on the court would definitely mean, mean that. Na, although, you know, people really don't know. Uh, a lot of people don't know how valuable Mike is because they tend to only look at stats. But if, you and know. Skills. And skills. And skills, yes. 
And but if you look, if you ask any anyone in our team at Ateneo, they could tell you why Mike's Mike's important. So it doesn't really matter what people say. They've seen the result in the first game of um, the effect of having Mike there. And I'm not saying that uh, others don't deserve to be in the lineup. Everyone deserves to be in the lineup, but it just so happens to be 12 players there. And there's, you know, we have to have reserves. So um, it's definitely uh, a big uh, upside to have Mike on the team. Uh, especially from a player and not just as a basketball fan. Ayun po ah, sa mga nanonood niyan o oh, appreciates basketball ng Gilles Pilipinas, hindi lang skills, tsaka stats, kumbaga importante, sabi nga ni Thirdy, yung intangibles and yung pagkaglugay ng isang player. Dwight Ramos, Thirdy, can you tell us more about him and yours? You sabi mo nga, sabi ko sa inyo guys, eh, Dwight Ramos yung may kanita. Yeah, I've always, I've always told people this, um, even right when we were about to, right when we were playing, even when we were playing in my final year, uh, some people were wondering, oh, kakayanin pa ba? Like, they would ask, kakayanin pa ba mag, uh, paano yan? Mawawala ka na? Or paano yan? Uh, marami kayo mag-graduate. Sino yung papalit sa inyo? Sino yung mga players na okay? And I was like, yeah, everyone in the team would still perform. And there are people who are coming up like Dwight Ramos and you have to watch out for that guy. Um, I mean, you already know that, you know, Ange is going to be there, Coach Tab is going to be there. Um, everyone else in the team is going to be there. But what they don't know is Dwight. And I always just tell them, just, just wait on the guy. <laughs> you, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. So uh, I've seen Dwight. I've played with him for years now. Uh, I've seen, you know, his game develop. He was supposed to be in Ateneo way before we'd actually see him. Uh, when when he was still in high school, na nasa states pa siya, and we would practice in the states, and he would be there. But unfortunately, like he well, he he wasn't able to be part of the team yet. He played one year in Cal State Fullerton, and then that's when he came came here. But regardless, he's still a great player, one of the players to uh, that will. Uh, definitely lead the young generation as well um, in terms of, you know, relying on him to perform, uh, whether it's the national team or in college. He's definitely going to be one of the guys, one of the top guys in this class. And we believe you, 30, the Philippines has seen this game and they're looking forward, of course, to the development of Dwight Ramos in Gilas Filipinas. 30, I have to ask this uh, again. I'm sorry for this, for asking this. Tested positive a few days ago. I just want to know how you're feeling. Uh, how are you recovering? Yeah, I've been good. Um, I I just have to basically quarantine and wait wait it out for the team to tell me or to ask me to take the test again. And once it's cleared, I'm good to go. I mean, it's been good. It's been boring, but you have to do what you have to do. And it's just a matter of time for me, I guess. What What's your weapon of choice for recovery? Is it like meds, fruits, water, sleep? That all together, I think, you know, mm -hmm. having a good diet is definitely important. And making sure you take your vitamins and getting a lot of sleep. And I've been getting a lot of sleep. I don't think I've slept this much <laughs> my entire life where I've just been in bed most of the day and I, without doing anything. So it's been fun. It's been boring as well. I just try to amuse yourself with whatever, whatever is around you. So okay, I've, I've uh, talked to, uh, well, as we uh, conclude this interview, I, I got to talk to a couple of friends who also tested positive and they were recovering. One common thing uh, that they said is like, there's a realization wherever it is, where it start or the finish or they were recovering. Para sa'yo, 30, meron na ba when it comes to maybe career or life? Like maybe you spent some time in isolation or like parang you, you get a chance to reflect. Meron na ba? Kung wala, okay lang. What I mean, one of the realizations that I had was, you know, you have to be a whole lot more careful because you never know when where you can get it. 
and you have to do whatever it takes because when when we had the meeting with the team na yun nga, they announced that I was positive like people uh, some of the players had their kids some of the players had wives who were expecting you know uh, to give who were expected to give birth soon so you got you you kind of think you kind of think about the, trying to be a little bit more responsible because you know you don't want to uh be <laughs> to kind of infect like any anyone else in the team because that's in turn gonna might have uh special uh, that might affect their families and you know when you think about those things but i'm about basic uh, yeah you you actually could get it anywhere and you have to be really really responsible because you have teammates and you have teammates who live with families uh right now so uh you know you don't want to be responsible for any anything that might you know but then that could potentially harm anyone in their family or them so yeah it's just a matter of that you put on your realization because so far but yes i will definitely be more careful than i would be stricter with myself in terms of protecting myself from getting any types of viruses um, around me and so of course philippines filipinos and all of your fans and all of your supporters wishing you to get well soon and to get back on the court last year 30 message mo sa fans message mo sa lahat ng mga pilipino na sumusuport sa uh, sa lahat ng mga fans and supporters, maraming maraming salamat sa pagmamahal at sa support kasi yun talaga na motivate sa akin. At the end of the day, I want uh, us to be proud as Filipinos, whether we're in the Philippines or kung nasa Japan man tayo or saan parte ng mundo. Uh, just want people to celebrate being Filipino. And that's one of my goals. And sana tuloy-tuloy lang po yung support niya sa amin sa team. And sana po ay magsawa. So, maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po kayo lang. All right, so there you have it. 30, Ra- 30 Ravenna right here on Off the Record. Maraming salamat po sa mga nanood. Thank you so much. This has been Mix Bustos. And this is Off the Record. And see you guys in the next episode.